Um, this feels so awkward. Me, I'm being awkward. Hi, Mina fam. Today, I get to introduce to you guys not only two brand new kits, but also a new to Mina made artist. I'm so excited about this one and I am just thrilled to be sharing her with you guys. If you haven't already heard of her, her name is Kat Fedora. You may have seen some of her artwork with Jaded Gems Shop. So um, Kat has a very extensive library of artwork. She is incredibly talented and incredibly productive. She makes just so many amazing, wonderful pieces. Um, me and Jade, I'm friends with the owner of Jade at Gem, Sh Gem Shop. Jade, we kind of decided like there's no need for um, exclusivity with either one of our shops. We can just share her art and produce different things. And plus me and Jade have different styles, whereas I do a, a hand rendered look. Um, Jade has more of a computer rendered and then cleaned up look. So we have different rendering styles and you know, we have different things to offer with our shops. I order lots of kits up front. And so everything that I show you guys, once it's listed, it is available. It's ready to ship. Whereas Jade has like a lot more artwork to choose from, from Cat Fedora, but you, it, most of it, I think some of it might be already ready to ship, but most of it is made to order. So it just kind of depends on what you're into, what you like, but definitely check out what Jade has to offer from Cat Fedora as well. I'm so excited to introduce to you guys my very first two kits from Cat Fedora. I would love to produce more from her in the future. Like I said, her library of art is so extensive and so beautiful. Go follow her on Instagram at Cat Fedora. She's also active on Facebook. If you find her Facebook page, um, you can like it and support her over there as well. Um, and you know, all, as always, let me know in, in the Munifam Facebook group or wherever you would like which Cat Fedora pieces you would like to see made into Munimade diamond paintings. But yes, without further ado, I do have two kits that have been produced to show to you guys. I'm really, 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 really proud of these. I'm super proud of how the rendering turned out. Kat is a watercolor artist, so the art originally is done physically, um, you know, on a canvas, and it is by nature more pixelated and there's lots of colors involved. And so when it comes to hand charting, it is a bit of a challenge, but I really think that my designer did a great job. I am very impressed, at least in this format without the drills. I think they look fantastic. So I can't wait to see how they work up. If you work on these, please, as always, share them with me. And um, I bonus points, if you allow me to use your pictures working on these on the website listing, that would be great as well. Before I show you guys and talk about the art, I mean, you can already see this one. I like to go over some general Munimade things. So if you already know all there is to know about Munimade, <laughs> then feel free to skip ahead. There are chapters on this video. So Munimade diamond paintings are printed on a high quality, thick, um, soft lint back canvas. Um, it is poured glue. I don't know if any companies produce the double-sided adhesive anymore. It's definitely poured glue. Um, we hand render and so the rendering usually is very cleaned up, less pixelated. You know, we try to go for less confetti, but we still want the artwork to look really pretty as the finished product. So it's kind of like a, you know, a fine line we have to walk. Um, each kit comes with a full size sticker sheet. The stickers are pre-cut and Munimade is unique in that we have a bonus sticker of just the symbol. So you can either kit up with the, the numerical number, the symbol and the DMC number on your containers, or you can put just the symbol. A lot of people like to take the baggies that come in the kits and then just take the symbol and stick it on the baggie. And then you have all the information you need to know and you are kitted up. Um, the drills come pre-bagged, so they're in little baggies like this that you can reclose and reseal. And every kit comes with this letter that just kind of talks about, about us, about some of our policies and how to diamond paint if you are absolutely brand new. 
By default, our kits do not come with a toolkit because most of our customers are already diamond painters, um, but you can get a free basic toolkit if you just you say so when you're ordering and you select that you want one. You can also upgrade to a premium toolkit, which includes a Muname tray. The size and color is just dependent on the artwork. And you can also upgrade and get a nice fancy dust cover bag to store your painting away either while it's in progress or before you start it. So that's like a little bit about us and about our canvases. Um, we always have the licensing information on there. These are legally licensed. We pay our artists, we pay them. They actually get royalties for every single purchase made. So every single time you purchase a Muname diamond painting, you are supporting the artist. Also, right on the canvas, we have the artist's preferred social media. So if you are ever working on these canvases, or if you're just like, hey, I like this art, what else does the artist have to offer? You can easily go find their social media and check them out. So that's just a little bit of general information. Now let's dive into this beautiful, magnificent masterpiece that is sitting in front of your eyes. So I would like to introduce to you guys Earth and Sky by Kat Fedora. It features a beautiful watercolor elephant with some rainbow moths all around her and some kind of floral and greenery. Um, the background, this dark blue, is a dark blue heart that the elephant is kind of stepping out of. And it's kind of like a nighttime sky with little stars. And the elephant is coming out of this portal, I guess. It is just super dope. Like, this is just so incredibly cool. I am in love with this artwork. Not only are the colors super fun, but like the, the composition, the art is just amazing. Um, there's also some kind of planet elements embedded throughout so there's 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 some um, space type things <laughs> throughout the painting and then around the edges is like a splotchy watercolor rainbow type thing going on so this is so beautiful I can't even express to you like it is so beautiful it was very hard to capture all the details there are so many details in this but I think it looks really good. So the size is 60 by 60 centimeters. That's kind of one of my maximum sizes. I pretty much like maximum for one of the dimensions for a diamond painting that I will produce is probably 60 centimeters. Um, just so that it actually fits in our bags and things. I made the mistake of producing a painting that was more large before. Maybe 65 centimeters I might go up to. But for the most part, one of the dimensions has to be that size. This is 60 by 60 centimeters, so it is a large square diamond painting. It has 51 colors, including four different AB shades. So it really is gonna sparkle and shine. And I'm just gonna point out a couple of the pretty details on the elephant. So inside of her ears here, there's a sunflower. Um, hopefully you can tell. So there's kind of like a sunflower detail coming out of her ears. And then she has lots of details down the front of her trunk. Her tusks actually have some sort of like tattooing pattern on them here. That's what this darkening part is. Um, and then, yeah, there's just lots of florals throughout. These moths are beautiful rainbow colors. Here's a planet back here. Super stunning <laughs> work of art. I, I just, I can't express to you how much I love this one. This is square so that we can try to capture all of those beautiful details. And uh, yeah, so there you go. Let's take a look at the drills. Um, pretty much, I've already messed with this package, so they might be shifted a little bit out of place, but pretty much every color in here, you know, you got the full, the full rainbow effect. This is our 20th diamond painting produced, fun fact. Fun fact, if you're ever curious about the SKU number, MM Muna Made S, it's square, and then 020, it's our 20th image we've, we have produced. So there's that, but I've already taken the ABs out, so let me grab those. Doo -doo -doo -doo. There are four, four ABs, so pretty. So we have two shades of orange and quite a full baggie of each. 
And then we have a little smattering of green and white. There's always got to be white. <laughs> There's always got to be white. So I'll, I will quickly kind of look and guide you guys where some of these ABs go. So this first one, this lighter orange color, um, this is featured honestly just everywhere. So we have a lot of them in this moth here, in this moth, in this moth. Um, we even have some in the splattering detail around the edges. Um, there's some in the center of this flower. There's some in the ears of the elephant. So kind of just a little bit all over, but the most of them, the majority of them is going to be in these moths and oh, down here in this flower, there's a lot of them. So that's going to look really, really beautiful. The next one is the same. So in the moth, in, I see a couple in this moth, a couple in this moth. And okay, because by nature, these are going to be a little bit more confetti heavy than some of our other pieces. That's just how it is. It is a watercolor image. It's meant to look that way. So if that's not your thing, just know there's a lot of colors, a lot of symbols on this canvas, but there is a decent amount of color blocking around the outside as well. And inside this uh, heart that the elephant is stepping out of. Um, so yeah, the darker orange is in the moths, in the elephant's ears, just basically all the orange parts, pretty much. This kind of orange floral, uh, I guess it's not floral, this foliage, this orange foliage peeking out right here is almost entirely made of these darker orange ABs. So that'll look really beautiful. And it's in this flower down here, over here. So just everywhere you see orange. Um, the next one, the green one is just used as a little bit of highlighting in the greenery. So in this greenery here, it is used for the highlighting. It is used for the highlighting in this greenery and then over here. So it's just kind of used to highlight those parts. And then the white, which is very fun. And I love doing this. This is, this is like a, not a classic made thing, but this is just something you'll see me do and my designer do in our designs quite often. The stars, the stars, they gotta be AB. Like that just makes sense in my head. So all of the stars in this background dark heart are these white ABs and they kind of just stand out in that way. And I just think that's gonna look so beautiful and it's just gonna twinkle and I just can't express to you guys enough how much I can't wait to see someone start working on this. Um, sometimes it takes a while for me to like, you know, after the sell of a kit to see people actually start pulling it out and start working on it. But I really hope that you guys pull this one out soon because I've got to see it. I've got to see what it looks like. I've got to see it. It's so beautiful. So there you go. That is Earth and Sky by Cat Fedora. Fabulous. Love it. It's amazing. So you will get all of this in your kit. Also, your kit comes tied up with a tag to identify it with just some information. Um, that's how we package it. This is how your kit comes. You can get a bonus basic toolkit. If you opt for the premium toolkit, I have paired with this image, I have paired a large orange tray just because like those orange ABs, they just, I don't know. Orange was just speaking to me out of this image. So hopefully, you know, that's just not a color we've used before in a premium toolkit. So hopefully you guys are excited for that. And it is a large tray because it's a, it's a larger painting. That's you can also get a dust covered bag with it. This one will come with our extra large purple bag if you opt for that. And yeah. Oh, and the premium toolkit, it comes with a bunch of other stuff as well. It comes with like everything. It comes with wax, washi tape, a cover minder, um, multiple pens, multi placers. It comes with like everything that you need, but the, the tray color is something that I choose and they're made to order you guys. So if you order a premium toolkit, it'll prolong the shipment of your kit. If you don't order a premium toolkit, we can pretty much ship these our very next packing session, which is usually on Fridays. Cool. Cool. Okay. So that's earth and sky. Next one. I have the biggest feeling that this one's going to be hard to keep in stock. Okay, this one's gonna be really hard. I just know, because I know you guys, I know what you like, I know what sells. This one, I mean, both of these are probably gonna fly off the shelves. And keep in mind, I have a limited first run when I first release new images because 
I like to make sure with my own two eyes that everything looks good before I start selling larger amounts, if that makes sense. So, yes, okay. So, you ready for this? Whoa. Isn't she amazing? This one I know is gonna be hard to keep in stock. I just have a feeling this one is going to be hard to keep on the shelves. We have a limited first run of this one, but once it sells out, I will be ordering more. And as long as there's no like issues with it, that anyone, per that anyone reports, um, there won't be any changes. It'll be exactly as you see it. Okay, so this one's called Nightfall, again by Cat Fedora. Super beautiful work of art. This one is 60 centimeters by 75 centimeters. So it's the same width as the other one, but it's a little bit longer. This one is round. So this is for all my round lovers out there. Still got lots and lots of detail, hand rendered watercolor image. It's just mm, chef's kiss. There are a whopping 51 colors. Oh, there was exactly 51 in the other one as well. That's hilarious. There are 51 colors, including four ABs again, and it's round. These, there's a lot of colors in this, but they're darker. They're darker, more muted in this one. And here is the sheet you get. And with the pre-cut uh, stickers, and they're cut in circles, the symbols, because it's a round painting. So I just think that's cool detail. A little bit of a cool detail. Okay, so this image, what can I say? Like, it's just magnificent. It features a lovely young lady looking out of the window in a kind of dreamy, spacey landscape. Up in the sky, there's planets, there is the moon shining, there's some other planet right there. And then it, she's just looking out this big, glorious window sitting inside some sort of like library or sitting area of sorts. And so you can just see all of the beautiful, beautiful details around. So we've got a doggy right here, kind of looks more like a wolf or like a husky type dog maybe, laying right here on his cozy bed. And then we've got a little kitty curled up on her bed right here. Um, we've got a steaming cup of coffee or tea, whatever you prefer to drink. We've got books stacked up everywhere. This girl's definitely a reader. And we've got beautiful plants decorating her room as well. Books on books on books and plants. And then I love this crystal right here on top of this book, so beautiful. There's also a few more crystals on the ledge of the windowsill here and like some rocks. So that's what these things are. They're like crystals and rocks. So pretty. Um, this plant I love is trailing down the bookcase and then hanging at the top, hopefully it's in frame, hanging at the top of the window is kind of some herbs, I'm guessing to be dried out, hanging upside down along with some mushrooms. And then over on the right hand side of the image is this beautiful, beautiful drape that, that kind of frames the entire scene you see here. So yes, lots of confetti in some places, but there is a decent amount of color blocking as well. There's color blocking on the, on the dog bed and you know, on this, on these curtains and in the background of the nighttime sky. So we have a decent mix. That's kind of what we go for with our rendering style. And yeah, this one is just, again, chef's kiss. Amazing. I think that cat, her art is just like made to be diamond paintings. I mean, it wasn't, but I'm saying is like, it was destined to become diamond paintings because it's just that beautiful. And I know you guys are going to support her and love her work. And like I said, if you really like her artwork, there are more diamond paintings available from Cat Fedora through Jaded Gem Shop. So if you would like to go over there and get more art and support Cat furthermore, then please do. And we also will plan to produce more in the future as well. It just takes time to like design and get everything going with these kits. Okay, so like I said, there's four ABs. The first one, this green one, I will kind of scout out where those are a little bit for you guys. Um, okay, so this light green color, there's four. There's, there's two green shades and there's a white and a pink. So, here in these books, these kind of uh, bright green books, those are all ABs. 
And then we have a little bit more at the bottom on this book down here, just highlighting as well. So that is where that first green AB color goes. Then the second one, let's take a look. It's kind of like a little um, scavenger hunt, scouting these out. I see a bit uh, kind of decorating the plants of those ABs. And then we have more in this plant here that's hanging down. It's got a lot of those ABs as a highlighting effect and some up here in these herbs hanging as well. So, and then the next, the pink AB, that one can be found, let's find it. That one can be found in this pretty flowering plant right here, right in the center of the window. So I think that's the only place, y'all. Yeah. Yes, so right there, making that plant stand out right there in the center. So that's pretty cool if you ask me. And then the last, the white AB, of course we've used that to decorate these stars. And also um, we've used it in the moon. So I think that will make a very beautiful effect. Now, it's not like some of the stars are like darker because they're farther away or whatever. This is how it looks in the image. And then some of the stars are AB. So um, yeah, and then even over here, the twinkle that's on the curtain, that is also AB white. Almost forgot and having to insert this in, but if you opt for a premium toolkit with this one, Nightfall, then it will come with a mint, a large mint tray. I just think it kind of complements some of those dreamy nighttime colors. And this one will also include an extra large purple dust cover bag if you opt for that. So there you have it, my friends. Hopefully you like this image and hopefully you're excited for us adding a new artist to the MunaMade team. I have many more to come. I absolutely love working with artists all around the world and supporting them in this way and turning their art into something really fun that you guys can enjoy. And oftentimes it's like a new thing for them. They haven't had their art displayed in this gorgeous way before. And so it's just, it's just fun. It's exciting all around. So thank you so much, Kat, for working with us. I, I love the way your art turned out <laughs> in diamond painting format. And I'm excited to see you guys start enjoying these. Like I said, the first run is limited. Here is when it's going to be, um, released for the first time. <laughs> um, so there's a perk to watching these videos and watching these previews. You guys will know the, the DL, you'll know the deets. I don't know, I'm not cool. You guys will know, you will know the insider information of when these will be posted for the first time. So you will get in on that first exciting run of a brand new kit. And um, yeah, so here is the date and time when these will first be available. But again, if you give us some time, we will restock these. You know, it just takes time to place our order and do all of that. So all of our artwork is usually restocked unless for some reason it's something that isn't selling, then we might discontinue it. But for the most part, all of our art is something that we just continuously restock. If it's, if it's going to be on its way out, then it will be labeled as such on the website. All right. So thank you guys so much for watching. Let me know which of these is your favorite if you plan to get either one. And I look forward to hearing you guys' thoughts. And as well, Kat has a um, very large library of artwork. So if there is a piece from Kat that you really want to see, uh, Muna Made produce as diamond paintings, please let us know in our Muna Made Facebook group, which is always linked in the description down below and you are invited to join us over there. Thank you guys for watching. I really appreciate you. Special thank you to my YouTube members for supporting this channel. You guys get cool perks like early access to watching these videos. I have plans and dreams of doing more videos and different kinds of content in the future, but I just gotta like, you know, fit that in someday when I'm less busy with a newborn baby. <laughs> um, yeah, appreciate you guys. And I will see you guys soon with some fall themed diamond paintings. Ooh la la. I cannot wait to show you guys what we have in store for that. All right, bye.